everyone, welcome back to the channel for another PSVR news update. I don't know about you, but I'm still busy trying to play through all the great games that have been released in the last couple of weeks. But even though things have settled down a bit, we've still got a flurry of updates and new games coming our way. Speaking of updates, Swordsman, which was released a couple of weeks ago, continues to get some great post-launch support from developer Sin Studio. The physics-based sword combat game has already received several updates with various bug fixes and new features. The latest update, which has just recently rolled out, adds a new weapon type, axes, and not just your regular everyday axes, but also, with Halloween just around the corner, they've added a special unlockable cursed axe. The update also adds a couple of new swords, refreshes the look of the daggers, and includes a whole raft of other bug fixes and UI improvements. Hopefully Sin Studio continue this level of support and deliver some of the other features on their roadmap to turn what's already a fun brawler into something really special. Another recent update was for Dreams, the game building toolkit from Media Molecule, which added PSVR support back in July. The latest update adds a whole lot of music related features, but of specific interest to VR players, it also introduces support for the AIM controller. Now as I'm sure most of you know, the AIM controller is a great arcade light gun style add-on, as it's the only PSVR controller to feature dual thumbsticks which can be used for locomotion and camera controlling games, but sadly it's only supported by a handful of games. Now that it's supported within Dreams, hopefully we'll see a good few games and experiences being created in there that make use of it. Let's see how long it takes for somebody to recreate the Time Crisis in the House of the Dead series. Okay, turning from updates to new releases now, and there's a couple of upcoming games still to come this month. The first of these is Twilight Path, a first-person fantasy-based puzzle game previously released on PC. The game sends the player on an otherworldly journey, meeting various fantastical characters along the way, and solving a series of puzzles to progress through the story-driven adventure. Developer Charm Games previously released the VR adventure puzzle game Form, which was decent and well received, but rather on the short side. Twilight Path looks gorgeous, with a nicely designed world and characters. However, on the PC it was a similarly short game, taking around one to two hours to complete and the puzzles were also on the easy side. We'll have to wait and see if they've added any substantial amount of content to the PSVR version, or whether they price it low enough for it to be worth picking up as an impulse buy at launch. But having said that, if this looks like your kind of game, or you already enjoyed the previous game form, then this could well be one to check out when it releases on the 27th of October. Secondly, a game which is actually out today, and which I've mentioned before, and that's Mortal Blitz Combat Arena. This game had a limited beta run a while back, but is released in full today, in a few different editions. The developer, Skonek Entertainment, is offering up a free-to-play version, which includes the online multiplayer game and the basic weapons and arenas, alongside a couple of pay-for versions. The standard edition, priced at $19.99 on the UK store, includes the core content from the free version, plus the single player campaign mode, more weapons, and a battle pass to access seasonal rewards. The deluxe edition, priced at $28.99 on the UK store, includes all of the content from the standard edition, plus five arena packs, which are effectively loot boxes containing costume, booster, and weapon items and a premium battle pass which will give access to standard and premium season rewards. If you purchase the standard edition, you can also purchase the season 1 pass separately for $7.99. Finally, looking a bit further forwards now, there's no particular release date as yet, but developer Big Box VR has hinted that their recent much talked about battle royale game Population 1 will be coming to PSVR at some point. The online multiplayer shooter has been causing a bit of a stir on PC and Oculus Quest, although it's not officially out on those platforms until the 22nd of October. And following an interview with Upload VR, when asked about the chances of it coming to PlayStation, the developer stated that they first have to nail the Quest version, then the PC VR version, but then they definitely have plans for PSVR. So, one to keep an eye on for the future. Okay, that's all for this update. Please leave a like if you found it useful, and if you want to keep up with the latest videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, 
and a big thank you to all those who have already subscribed as it makes it all worthwhile. Remember you can also look up PSVR Zest on Twitter for the latest news and gossip. Bye for now.